Hey YouTube, um, I'm Jack CSX Real Fan, um, and I was asked to do a review of this locomotive. This is my uh, Ather and Genesis. It's an older run of the SD45-2, painted in the Seaboard system. This is road number 2052. Um, well, quick things go over here. Um, I think it's a real nice engine. Um, it's got a moderate amount of details. Well, actually, pretty good amount of details. Uh, I'll bring it down to eye level with it here. Might help a little. Get better. So, anyways, it's got numerous details. It's got a detailed cab interior. It has use a toothpick here. It has sliding cab windows. kind of hard but they slide open and closed but anyways um that's uh, pretty neat um the rest of the model is detailed pretty good uh, the handrails are so so I mean they're not too flimsy they're not too sturdy and right in between there I did glue them on I spilled a little glue here that's what all that is, but and then on the top, bring it back up again. The roof. It has let's see here, good job here. Fan detail on the roof. See the blades, it does not spin when you blow on it, but anyways, bring it back down again. Um Really nice look motive in my opinion. And of course, being CSX modeler, you gotta have one of these. Um, depending on what era you model to. Uh, anyways, um, nice truck detail. Zoom in on that here. Uh, it's got the bell mounted correctly. Uh, it's got the uh, pick up the track. It's got MU cable detail. Uh, lit headlights with bulbs. Front and rear, like I said, MU cable. Uh, then the engineer side, the cab, you got the engineer's controls, of course. Uh, correctly mounted horn, and a bunch of other stuff, stuff of the sort. But, anyways. Um, smooth runner. Uh, this is the model that is equipped with MRC sound decoder. Um, not the best in my opinion, but it does sound pretty good. Um, anyways, uh, I'll get done to the layout and we'll shoot a video of it running for you. So, here we go. Alrighty, I'm done on the layout now. And, um, excuse the mess that you see behind you. I got back from a couple of things, uh, National Train Day, some stuff I just haven't um, got a chance to put away. Sorry for that. Um, anyways, here's the model. Um, using NCE Power Cab to run this thing. Um, and we'll go ahead and press function 8, which will start it up. Like I said, um, it's an MRC decoder, but it's got pretty good sounds. Um, not as good as Tsunami, in my opinion, which after I just started installing. But, um, go ahead and blow the horn. Now, uh, um, you can uh, change the uh, horn sound using CVs, or if you're a DC modeler, they give you a controller. Number two horn, one bell, and so forth. It's in the manual. Um, but these are going to be hard to come by since Ather stopped making these a seaboard system, with, especially since they stopped doing it with MRC sound. Unfortunately, they do not include one of those with the tsunami decoders. So anyways, well, there's an air compressor sound. Um, I did change the uh, horn and bell to my liking, and uh, here's the horn.
Now, um, so that's the, in my opinion, the best sounding horn on there. Uh, it fits the K5 that's fitted out on it. Um, and here's the bell. And um, the only thing that I have to uh, complain about it is the headlights on NCE Power Cab. They do not work. I have no idea why. When I first started running it, they were working. When I, it's not the NC Power Cab. Like I said, they were working. Then all of a sudden, they just stopped one day. When I take it to my club, um, which is a lens DCC system, they will work. But one time it'll go around, they'll be on. And next time it'll be off. Whether it's a loose wire. Uh, bulbs are going, I doubt it's the bulbs going bad, or it could be, so anyways, whether it's a loose wire, bulbs going bad, decoder, whatever it is, the lights do not work on, power, my, my power cab for some reason, um, I know maybe it's a lower voltage, that could be, but I'm not sure, anyways, it's in forward right now, so I'll just go ahead and show you how it runs, it does not take off, um, speed step one, it does not take off. Speed step five until speed step seventeen, which is what I'm in right now. So as you can see, even though it takes the speed step seventeen, it's a pretty smooth runner, real smooth runner. Go ahead and put her in the reverse. We'll come back. Well, this time it's running in speed step 10, but anyways. Um, yeah, like I said, smooth runner. It's not jerky, it's just right. I never even had to oil it or anything, so lubricate it. So anyways, um, smooth runner. And uh, it will throttle back down automatically. Um, would I recommend this engine? Yes. Um, real nice. I've never had any problems with Athern Genesis. Um, but anyways, matter of fact, right here, right here is the box for it. Right here. So, anyways, tell us the older run. Uh, Board system. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Oh, well, I'll show you the shutdown here. Press function 8 again. And there's shutdown. So, anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, to you that uh, requested this video, I'm sorry it's kind of late getting up. I've been busy. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment. Um, I'll have more review videos and more videos of um, numerous things, real fanning, train shows, and like I said, more reviews. So anyways, uh, until next time, uh, see you later.